everyone and welcome to another edition of Harnessy Rail Journeys. As you can see, I'm here at Rain Hill. I'll just flip the camera around so you know where the station is. Home of the Rain Hill Trials of 1829 of Rain Hill. Where the engine we're seeing today needs no introduction, as we're seeing the A1 Steam Locomotive Trust Tornado as it's working the Jorvik trip from Liverpool up to York via the Hove Valley and here on the Liverpool and Manchester Railway. We're just waiting for a tornado to come through and then we're chasing it as far as Chinley. Hope you enjoy this rail journey vlog. Whilst on the way to Rainhill, we get a glimpse of the stock movement coming from the Bowness and Kinnear Railway going through to Liverpool Lime Street, hauled by DB Cargo 66, 66004 in the Climate Hero Green livery, with Tornado on the back of the train, and even getting assistance on the climb out of St Helens Central Station. up with Tornado in fine fettle through Rain Hill and the added bonus of no diesel in the consist. <laughs> Let's review the history on how Tornado came about. Tornado is based on an A1 Pacific, designed by Arthur Peppercorn, who was the last chief mechanical engineer of the London and North Eastern Railway. The original A1s were built after nationalisation in 1948, and between Doncaster and Darlington Works built 49 A1 Pacifics, and they dominated the East Coast Main Line until their withdrawal in the mid-1960s. Sadly, none of the original A1s survived the Cutter's Torch, although there was a bid to save one of the A1s, 60145 St Mungo, but sadly that failed and the engine was scrapped. However, Four men came together with a vision about building a new one, which was dreamt up by Mike Wilson, and that came up with the idea with David Champion, Stuart Palmer, and Ian Storey. And during this meeting, another thing was established from the start. Rather than building a replica of one of the original 49A ones, this locomotive will have its own identity as the 50th member of the class. It was in 1990 when the idea was unveiled to the wider world. And when over the presentations over the coming months during that period, many people were signing up to the course, which in 1990 
was how the A1 Steam Locomotive Trust was born. Four years later, in 1994, construction of Tornado began in 1994, with Dorothy Mather, the widower of Arthur Peppercorn, pressed the button to start cutting metal that would form the frames at Scunthorpe. And then it was transferred to Tizey Locomotive Works to have the frames profiled and assembled, while the original plan of having a home in Doncaster fell through. But eventually, the A1 Trust did find a home in Darlington, which is where they are today. The construction of the locomotive took 14 years, with generous donations from the public, including construction at the time of a new boiler being built at the locomotive works at Meiningham. And with generous support from many donations from the public, Tornado steamed for the first time and moved under his own power in 2008, on the 40th anniversary since the end of BR Steam on the main line, and the 60th anniversary of the first A1 entering service. After a period of running in on the Great Central Railway between Loughborough and Leicester North, Tornado was moved to the National Railway Museum to commence his mainline test runs during November of 2008, and since then has been approved for mainline running. It was in February 2009 when the engine was fully painted in BR Express Passenger lined apple green livery with British Railways lettering on the tender. The engine was officially named Tornado at York Station by the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall. Since hauling the Royal Train, Tornado settled down into regular mainline service, hauling special trains on the national network. In April 2009, Tornado did the whole length of the East Coast Main Line from King's Cross to Edinburgh as part of the BBC Top Gear programme, with Jeremy Clarkson on the footplate while he raced Richard Hammond and James May from King's Cross to Edinburgh, which Tornado did come second after losing to the Jag. In between Tornado's runs on the main line, the A1 has visited a number of preserved railways, but only those that are connected to network rail, like the North Yorkshire Moors, the Seven Valley, the East Lancashire Railway, Barrow Hill Roundhouse, and the Bobbin and Wainford Railway, and many others that are connected to the main line. In 2017, Tornado became the first locomotive to reach the ton of over 100 miles an hour since the end of steam in 1968, on running on the East Coast Main Line from Doncaster to Newcastle and back. Apart from the BR Apple Green livery, Tornado has been in different liveries, including these pictures just now in BR Line Darker Green livery, and along with the BR Express Passenger Lined Blue livery, similar to that worn by A4 Sir Nigel Gresley. Along with the appearance in many TV programmes, Tornado has also become a film star in appearing in the Paddington Bear 2 film in 2018. Although, during the engine's early mainline career, the engine was purely operated by DB Schenker, although now known as DB Cargo. But since 2019, however, Tornado can now be operated by West Coast Railways, and since then it has opened many rail tour opportunities with the touring operators, like Railway Touring Company and Steam Dreams once again. In April 2018, the engine did suffer a major incident during the engine's first and only public 90 mile an hour run on the East Coast Main Line between King's Cross and York, and the engine was stabled at the Neem Valley Railway to sort out repairs. Happily, however, Tornado was back, and in fine fettle once again on the main line. During the making of this film, Tornado is now undergoing his second overhaul in preservation at Locomotive Maintenance Services at Loughborough, near the Great Central Railway, where hopefully he'll be returning to steam later in the summer in 2022. Now, enough of me talking, let's catch up with Tornado as the A1 climbs the Calburn Tunnel.
this rail journey vlog at Lee Green on the Liverpool and Manchester Railway as we see Tornado head west while on the return journey back to Liverpool from York after coming back via the Calder Valley. A big shout out for the company of Chinley at Cameron White, a YouTuber, Railview, which the link to his channel is at the bottom of the description text below. Thank you very much for watching this rail journey vlog as we chase Tornado between Chinley and Liverpool on the Jorvik Express. If you'd like to see more, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you'll be right up to date when the next rail journey vlog and non-rail journey vlog goes live. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, goodbye. I'm going to go to the video now. I'm going to go to the video now.